go on the internet and you Google just one word. Um, power. There's a name that comes up no matter what, no matter how you modify it in Ghana. The name that comes up will tell you who the minister is, who has been appointed as a minister, and anything he has said. But one thing it will not tell you is a person's quality. Now when I say quality, I mean that somebody who has been through the mill and who is qualified to do what he's doing. This man was the director of the graduate school at Central University College. He then became a deputy minister and he was at the office of the president. He also worked at the Petroleum Commission and is currently the minister of power in Ghana. He's also an MP, so I believe whatever he says here, he's within his authority to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, please, with a loud round of applause, help me welcome Honorable Dr. Kobna Dompo, the Minister of Power, to address you. Mr. Chairman, the leadership of Ghana Technology University College the leadership of Ghana Electrical Contractors Association, distinguished ladies and gentlemen present. This nation has gone through some challenging times in recent years as to the availability, security, and reliability of power supply. These challenges have impacted on the national economy, on our psyche as a people, on our self-belief, on crime rates, and generally on the political economy of this country. In our over-reliance of legacy hydro, fortunately I stand here on a technology-based university. And the tools needed for planning, whether scientific, social, economic, the basic tool is data. I am of the opinion that we'll fix the power inadequacy situation. But going forward, our ability to enjoy safe and reliable power will depend largely in attitudinal change that must come. It is critical that we develop a manufacturing and industrial base to secure the future of the power sector. The ministry therefore, and I will be sending a copy of the draft policy to the president of this wonderful university for the faculty to make contributions to the policy. As you graduate, I want to tax you to be good ambassadors of solar, to be professional, to avoid shortcuts, avoid cheating customers, avoid the usual Ghanaian traits, men's attitude of unreliability, unpredictability, and dishonesty. I charge you to be a different breed. I charge you to be ambassadors. I charge you to be representative of the new Ghanaian work attitude that we all desire. Thank you.